Okay, we're gonna test how much power and time it takes for this duct top to boil. I'm gonna use 500 milliliters of water. I just tested it, it has a five inch hotspot, which is the size of that. This pan's bigger than that, so it'll be 100%. Okay, we'll go menu, and let's see if I can go boil. And now we'll just put the water in. So that's as much as that pan does. So water's good. All right, when I'm doing my calculations for individual servings, I use 500 milliliters. Uh, and one of these popular, uh, this is from Walmart, if I fill it up just to below the line that the lid fits down to, you could do a little bit more, but that's safe. And then I pour it out. And I'll just show you that that is and it's hard to see with that angle, 500 milliliters. All right, so 500 milliliters is a good amount to use for an individual serving of tea, and it's also about the right amount to use for a large uh, serving of soup or stew for calculations of heat. All right, I'd say 207, we're up at 1,000. That should be it, let's turn it off. And now let's look and see how much uh, power that used. 63 watt hours to boil that all right okay now we're going to compare that with this uh, kasori electric kettle i like electric kettles because they're a hundred percent efficient at converting electricity into heat whereas these things induction are only supposed to be 75 to 78 percent efficient so these are very fast very efficient i love this kettle because it's insulated it's double walled all right, which means it's going to retain heat in here a little bit longer. So over here, I have another 500 milliliters of tested it. It's actually, let's see what the temperature is there. It's actually 87 degrees for that water just because it's warm outside here in Arizona. All right, so that's the calculation we'll use for joules to raise from 87. All right, now I'm going to reset the kilowatt meter, put it in, and here we go. Okay, while that's heating up, I'll mention I went through, looked on Amazon, looked at every single electric kettle I could find, um, looked for ones that had insulation, and then read all the reviews. I came down to two that didn't rust and didn't have leaks uh, because they had a, a join from between the side and the bottom. And that's this and another uh, that I use for camp and I'll put a link. And there it is, power's off. Ooh, that's hot. All right. 203 for 205, same temperature. All right, now let's take a look down here and see, 49 watt hours. All right, same amount, 49 watt hours to boil it versus I think 63 is what that last one was. So that's a difference on the efficiency. All right, the speed was almost the same. This was a little bit quicker actually. Um, and so if you're just gonna boil water, Using electrics, absolutely use an electric kettle. 100% efficient when you do the calculation for how many joules it should take to heat 500 milliliters of water from 87 up to, in this case, 205, um, 99 to 100% efficient. All right, that's it.